We begin with the new ban on the sale of so-called assault weapons. The bill was signed into law this afternoon by Governor Jay Inslee, and it's already being challenged in court. King 5 Sebastian Robertson is live now in the newsroom with what this law means for us. Sebastian. Hi, Greg. You know, as the governor, uh, Governor Inslee was signing the legislation, essentially banning so-called assault rifles in the state, a group called the Second Amendment Foundation was ready filed this lawsuit in federal court. They allege that the ban is unconstitutional, believe it will not hold up. The last couple weeks, it's been pretty hectic. You know, people last minute purchases are hoping to get it. Grandmother and sports shooting enthusiast Karen Jennings dealing with the latest change the gun industry is facing. What people are concerned about is that, okay, so they got this through on the black rifles. Is it our hunting rifles, are they next? Is that our handguns going to be coming next? Pinto's gun shop, her employer and family's business are abiding by newly signed House Bill 1240, which bans the sale, manufacture and import of assault weapons in Washington state. That includes the AR-15. AR-15s should not be idolized they should be prohibited, and that's what we're doing today. Governor Jay Inslee touting the legislation as a victory over what he calls weapons of war. The Second Amendment Foundation, a nonprofit lobbying group based in Bellevue, calling the law unconstitutional. This lawsuit, filed in federal court, alleges it oversteps a person's Second and Fourteenth Amendment rights, asking the court for a preliminary injunction. Yeah, we're confident. Washington State Attorney General Bob Ferguson does not see it that way. We haven't lost a case yet against the NRA or the Second Amendment Foundation. They challenged common sense gun reform in the state. My legal team is better than their legal team, and I'm confident we'll win again. With the governor's signature still drying, the rule is law. Pump, fire, pump, fire. And unless a court determines otherwise, gun dealers will have to adapt. It is what it is, and we'll just deal with it. Something Jennings says she's used to doing. Now, that bill does not ban the possession of assault weapons for those that already own them. There's also an amendment that allows gun manufacturers to sell some inventory to qualified out-of-state clientele for 90 days after the bill goes into effect. But at least one Olympia gun dealer says he's waiting it out, putting his weapons in a storage case in case the court overturns the legislation.